Welcome back to Superstar Glam. If you have not joined my Superstar Glam Squad family, then what are you waiting for? Go ahead and click that button down below. Also click the notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a video. In today's video, I wanted to, it's been a while since I've filmed my favorites video. I call them my superstars or super duds. And that is pretty much my favorites video where I let you know all the things that I've been loving, that I have been obsessed with and haven't been able to put down, as well as any products that just did not work for me for whatever reason. In today's video, I actually have a few random products. Yes, a few random products that I wanted to include just because um, it's not uh, just always about a makeup. It's also about other stuff that I've been uh, loving and I really wanted to share it with you guys. So if you're interested to see what my superstars or super duds were, then just keep watching. Okay, so I'm going to show you some skincare makeup a variety of things that I have been loving. Okay, the first item that I have in front of me that I just used for my look today is the MAC Studio Fix Sculpt and Shape Contour Palette. Now, I bought it probably like a couple months ago, and ever since then, this is the only palette that I've been using nonstop to contour, and I just love it. I think it's the perfect shade, the, the perfect tone for a real good contour i haven't really been liking like that like that straight line or maybe i'm just getting used to the blending whatever it is i've really been enjoying these they're not so pigmented where where you apply it and it like stamps on the color no it's like really soft um blendable so a little bit you start building up just a little bit and it helps me so that i don't go overboard and like i said have like this harsh contour line i found that these powders no matter what i apply on top of it they work really really good and they blend out awesome i've also been enjoying the the lighter shades i do have to be careful with this shade emphasize because it can look a little too bright and stark white so i think a little bit goes a long way to really help brighten up the under eye and i like to go in with these two to kind of help carve out if i go too overboard or bring my contour a little too low i go in with these two so i've been loving it and the best part about it is like i love the mirror look how big this mirror is it's just the perfect compact size contour palette. I've been loving it. I, have, I haven't touched any other of my contour palettes since I purchased this. The second item that I hauled a few months ago also, and I think I've been talking about it in almost all my videos, probably the MAC one also, but I'm still raving about it because I'm still continuing to use it. I am using it over any of my other powders. It's just become like the, my go-to that won't fail me type of product and that is the charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless finish skin perfecting micro powder i mean the packaging is luxurious looking so beautiful but the powder itself i do have to be careful with the shade of my foundation because if it's already pulling to orange or to pink, um, this powder will kind of help it get geared to, towards more like the warm shade. Uh, so I do have to go in using a neutral base or yellow base foundation. And then this works really, really perfect on top of that to set the rest of my face. But I just love it because it's not heavy at all. It makes my, my skin feel or look just not like drying like I just got this the life sucked out of me like how some pot products tend to do especially some heavy translucent setting powders that I use 
um, I can't really use them all over the face or some of the powders do tend to cling on to like dry patches but not this powder this powder is so lightweight so velvety so um, like the name says micro powder um, it's finely milled yeah it's really like very soft and it just smooths out my face it sets it it works really really good again I haven't stopped using this since I purchased it and I will have to repurchase it next time we get uh, some kind of discount because I am loving that powder these are some tools that I have been using non-stop since I purchased them and these and I've talked about these in the past but I definitely wanted to mention them again in case you miss any of my other videos but these are the BH Cosmetics new brushes that they've come out with I love the concept behind them and I think they have from like eyes to face brushes but what these are look at the side angle they're really fanned out brushes they're fluffy they're soft and I have number four and number five number four is the smaller one and number five is the bigger one and it's described the the number five is described as a concealer brush but I didn't really like it maybe to blend out between like if you tend to do your eyes first and then the concealer this would probably work for blending out those edges I could see that working for that but in terms of me using it to blend out my concealer like the full concealer I didn't really like that but I did like this for blending out the edges on my eyes um, the bigger one to blend out the edges on the top and then this little one this little one can get into like the inner corners um, just really precise if you just want like the line smudged out on the lower but these work so awesome especially if you have like small area to work with like I do uh, these work really good to be precise keep the color where I want it add color where I want it blend it out it's just they work so good you can use them from the edges you can turn it around use every single angle of this little brush I, I just I love them they're they help me so much with my eye blending I love them so since we're in the tool section I don't know if I've mentioned this before but or in previous videos but I had picked up this is the limited edition bronzer brush from wet and wild I love this for the bronzer so I love this one because it is also tapered so if I wanted to contour with this I think I could do it as well and just keep the color there but I love how fluffy it is I love how small it is and I can definitely go in and apply the bronzer where I need it without getting all over the place so yeah I've been loving this brush for that so I came across this tool not through anything that has to do with makeup but through crafting because that's my other passion I love to craft you've seen my previous videos I I have done planner videos plan with me I love to do them I still do them I just don't film them because I don't know I don't know how to combine those two in my channel on my channel so I just stopped doing them um, let me know if you you're interested to keep watching those because I could definitely film them anyways so I came across this little tool because it was advertised it's actually supposed to be a it's a tweezer but it's for beads so any crafter that works with like tiny little beads so it is made out of really like sturdy metal but when I saw it I purchased it because it looked like the perfect tool for eyelashes let me show you what it looks like see doesn't it look like the shape of it like the lash 
tools that have been coming out. You do have to be extra careful with this one though because it is dangerous. It, it has a really, really sharp point. So I've, I've been thinking about filing it down just because I don't want to accidentally like poke my eye because it's really going to be horrible. But if you just use it for what I'm about to show you, then you shouldn't really have much of a problem. Okay, so I'm going to show you. This became the perfect tool to use when you're waiting for your glue to dry. So it has these little rubber handles on the side. So you squeeze it and it opens it up. So it stays closed if you let it go, but if you squeeze it, it opens up. So I grab my eyelashes like so, and then I just apply lash glue to it, and then I just set it down while it dries, and I could do something else. And they're really cheap and affordable. I think this was like six or seven dollars it was through amazon i'll link it down below if you're interested but i definitely recommend it it is a lifesaver and then i do i do go in and apply it i place it so it's really really easy and convenient to and and the angle of the tweezers it helps to just place it but then i go in with a separate tweezers and place them down in each corner but this initially is like the perfect tool and i've been wanting to share it with you all it is a random tool but it's perfect i'm gonna share a skincare i do have to admit that it is one of the best products that you can incorporate into your skincare and this is i think one of those products that is beneficial regardless of the skin type that you have whether you're dry whether you're oily whatever it is it's just one ingredient that if you can incorporate will benefit your skin so I definitely recommend it if you are able to purchase this I would totally recommend it because for me it's just like a drastic change that I've added to my skincare on top of everything else that I do but just the fact that I hadn't purchased this in a long time because again it is very expensive but again it's totally worth it since I've purchased this and started using it I have seen changes in my skin as well as some texture that I was starting to develop I don't know I don't know where or what it was coming from but I was starting to see a lot of like just texture on my skin that I really didn't have and ever since I incorporated this, it has diminished. I mean, it's not, it's not, it hasn't disappeared completely, but I can see less and less every time I use it. But this is the Drunk Elephant C Firma Day Serum. So the way I use it is I apply this to my skin, my clean face in the mornings. And then I do go on and apply the rest of my creams as well as SPF. You cannot skip your SPF when you're using any type of uh, vitamin C in on your skin because it becomes a little more or extra sensitive to the sun. So you want to avoid that and protect your skin. I can start seeing a lot of the dark spots um, that had started to come out diminish in color and that's one thing you want to do you want to avoid even having those surface the skin um, if you can prevent it or if you can catch them before they even appear then it saves you a lot but if you already have them it does help um, not instantly but it does start to help reduce the dark spots that that form which is all UV damage and again also helping out with that texture that I was starting to see on my skin so I totally recommend it so this item is another I guess you could say tool and I've actually been using these for years this is a item for the shower I don't like using loofahs or those fluffy sponges I don't know what they're called I find them 
to be, I don't know, gross? That, I mean, that's, that's my opinion. I, if you love them, then, and it work, works for you. I don't know how I discovered these. I just know that the reason why I started buying them was because, see, a loofah, I just don't find it to do much to my skin. I'm the type that loves to exfoliate, and I know this is bad for my skin. Like, I totally am aware of this. I just, I can't resist. Like, when I go in the shower, I like to scrub and feel like my skin or layers of dead skin falling off. Um, so that's the feeling that I like. So I have to have items that help with that. And when I discovered this, this is exactly what it did. I use it to apply my body wash and then I can use it all over my body and I feel it exfoli exfoliating. Like if you're not used to exfoliating your skin, you're going to find this product to be a little bit harsh on your skin, but I just love it. I also find it to be a lot more sanitary than a loofah because it is so, so thin that you're able to rinse it out and then I let it air dry so it doesn't cling on or hold any of the soap uh, residue or anything like that. So it does rinse out. You can totally see everything coming off, but I also do replace it. So every so often I, I always have a backup and you can find these anywhere at the drugstores, at, um, at Ross Marshall's. I've seen them. Anyways, this is what it is. This is just one that I have. Um, this one, it happens to be beauty elements. It's the bath and shower cloth. Let me open it to show you better. There's all types of brands and so in different packagings that it comes in, but this is what it is. It's just a cloth. But it it does feel it has texture so it does feel a little rough. But all I do all I do is I fold it up, I apply some body wash, I let it foam up, and then I wash this. And the best part about it is if you ever struggled with getting your back um, or you can't reach, all you have to do is put it on your back and then just do this motion and you're actually getting and exfoliating your back. It's so neat. And again, you rinse it off and everything, you see everything com coming off and then I just hang it to dry and it dries fast. The other thing I love about this is traveling with it is so much easier than a loofah. It just dries um, really fast. So by the time that you're ready to pack and go, you just fold this up and you have no problems with this. So that's what I find these to be really convenient. Okay, so the next item I'm going to share with you is I think another weird one. But I've been loving it so much that I have to share it. Okay. Basically, I have this addiction to my AC unit in my room that I cannot go to sleep unless the AC is on. But the other side of it is that I hate being cold, so I'm always cold. But I still refuse to turn it off because the minute that I turn it off, this, this house is really, really old. So it gets very stuffy really fast so I sleep with the AC unit and it doesn't matter the season how cold hot or cold it gets I still sleep with the AC unit on anyways I found that those days where it's a little bit chilly outside it doesn't matter how many layers of clothing I have I still can get warm and I even have this like thick furry blanket that I sleep with but it, if it doesn't matter if my feet or whatever I'm wearing doesn't keep me warm I am going to be cold no matter what is put on me anyways so I've been wanting a onesie um it's super cute I mean once you see it you're gonna know understand why I had to have it but I got the the onesie and I wear it every single day. Like, I like to go to sleep with, like, leggings and, like, a t-shirt. But because 
um, of the AC, I was starting to layer up with like a sweater or like this robe that I have thing. Well, the problem with that was anytime I was, would move in the middle of the night, the robe would kind of shift or bundle up in one corner and then it would like, I would sleep on top of it. It was just very uncomfortable. Or the robe would just twist around me and then I would have to like literally sit up and take it off or adjust it or whatever. The point is, it was a nightmare. So then I now I found that wearing this onesie that I got, it's perfect. Like I can move around fine. If I get cold, it's long enough and big enough to where I can pull the leg part. Like it doesn't have the feet part. It's just long enough to where I can scoot it and it covers my entire feet. And it's cozy. I got it at Ross. It's actually, I just noticed the name of it. It's called Soft and Cuddly. It's, um, oh wow, I did get it huge. I got a large slash extra large. So anyway, so it comes with this little hood. And it has stars. And it has this, I love the detail on it too. It has a little star detail for the zipper. <laughs> And it's pretty much it. It's just this huge onesie that I don't even have to strip in my clothes. Like, I just put it over. That way, I also don't feel like I'm completely naked when I go to the bathroom. You know, I still have my clothes underneath. It has pockets. So this is, like, the perfect loungewear for me when I just, I'm not going anywhere. I, I had to have pockets. I could put my phone in there. And then the leg part is just like this. Like I said, it doesn't cover the feet, but it is long enough for me to wear it with and cover my feet. So I've been loving this little onesie. Like, um, it's going to come in handy because in the winter when the house gets extremely cold, I could just throw this on and that could keep me warm on top of like a blanket or whatever. Yes, I'm excessive, but I, I, I won't get out of bed if I'm extremely cold. So this helps. So that's what I've been loving. And that's pretty much everything I've been loving for a while now, not just the month of October, but, and I didn't mention to you my super duds. My super duds, I've mentioned this already in a past video. It's a backup um, palette be a light light to medium face palette this is what it looks like the packaging is beautiful I think I was probably more drawn to the packaging and the inside this is what it looks like it looks really really beautiful like it the packaging everything about it just drew me in and I wanted to purchase it and now I don't know if I mentioned this in the past but I had accumulated a lot of points at Sephora to where I was able to qualify for a rewards. I redeemed my points for rewards and it was $100 off any purchase. Not only did I purchase this, but I got a really good deal on it as well. But one of the drawbacks about getting in those reward pro programs is that you cannot return or exchange anything that you purchase with that rewards, which just sucks because I had to actually go in and read into the fine print about it to know that um that yeah i could not return this if i would have known that i probably would have gotten something that i know was worth it like maybe something that i keep repurchasing instead of something to try out and then realize that i can't return it i'm stuck with it anyways so it's these powders i just find them to be geared towards other skin tones it doesn't fit my skin skin tone it is four different powders one is supposed to be a a brightening powder the other is supposed to be a face powder a contour powder and a blush I find the blush and the contour powder to be decent like I would totally continue to use it for the blush it's a really pretty shade the contour though is more like a bronzer for me and it would probably fit me better um, once we start getting more into my winter shade but the face powder is what 
really I just I can't I can't wear um, unless I want to look like a Oompa Loompa orange tone that's pretty much what happens and with that powder and I just it was just not worth it for me so I just don't gravitate towards it I can't use it it just wasn't worth the purchase honestly so that's enough of my rant on that palette of my super duds. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I'll see you next time. Bye.